So it's two games into the season, a lot of football left, but uh, what's kind of the state of, of the defense right now? Are you guys a little frustrated, uh, you know, encouraged still? I mean, where do you kind of sit right now as a unit, and at least in your mind, as, as a leader and a captain of this team? Uh, we're definitely frustrated, you know, um, disappointed in ourselves and our performance. You know, we, uh, we feel like we're a lot better than what we showed up on Saturday. We expect a lot better. You know, it doesn't sit well with us, you know. We, we work so hard and we feel like we have the potential and the capability of being a, a dominant defense. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, we, uh, we're not discouraged. You know, it happens it's behind us now, so it's just a lot of football left. Right. So we're going to come back out here this week. And, um, we, uh, we've had good, good talks yesterday with uh, the whole team. We're going to be all right. We're going to turn around. And is it, you know, it's, I know it's a new scheme. You know, I know you practiced it in the spring. Is it just, you know, is there still some, some rough edges about that or is it just... Uh, trying maybe maybe pressing trying too hard. I mean, why do you think it just hasn't? I mean, I know you can't be perfect every game, and you know, give give your opponent some credit too. But where do you think the struggles have happened, at least in your mind so far? Um, I think um, maybe uh, it's a combination of things. You know, a combination of maybe some preparation things. Some uh, it's mainly just those players. I think on, on our part, you know, we, uh, we definitely have the personnel to go out there and uh, do it. We need to do what's being asked of us, but we mm-hmm. just uh, haven't been in the right place. Uh, um, like we need to do, we haven't executed the defense as well as we need to do, and as, as well as we know we can do. Right. You know, last year, obviously, forcing turnovers was big for this defense. Thirty-one turnovers, and you know, only one so far. I know Coach Christian was saying that that's got to improve, and it's gonna some adjustments we made in practice. But it's also kind of a if you're not seeing them in practice, you're not gonna probably see them in game. So, in your mind, Corey, it, what's changed in practice? I mean, I know you guys work on it all the time. I mean, I've seen it before. Is is it just kind of, is there a different feel where in practice than it was last year? And has that carried over into games, or can you kind of put your finger on that right now? No, well, I really can't. Um, I just uh, it's obvious if you don't want to turn over margin, that's a good chance for probably the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know defensively how important it is to create turnovers for, uh, for offense to get the offense ball back in good field position as they have a possibly for ourselves. So we we know um, the importance of any stress in practice and. Um, you know, we got guys go for the ball in practice too, and uh, we got guys go for the ball in the games. But uh, you know, sometimes it just it doesn't always come out like that. It's, right. A lot of turnovers, in my opinion, come they have to, uh, you know, just it kind of just happen. You know, guys find the ball hitting. You know, they might just get lucky and get a hand. Uh, mm-hmm. It might be on the ball. You know, whether you try to or not, it's and then there's obviously yeah. strips and things like that. So we're just gonna. We're going to um, stress a lot more in practice and, you know, make it a focus point on every play. You know, got, got two or three guys trying to go for the ball. Sure. What do you, you know, talk about the loss of, of Devin to the defense. I mean, I'm, you know, he was playing pretty well, and you know, like, you know, someone goes down, another one has to step in. But how big of a loss do you think that is for the defense and who really – you know, probably everyone needs to step up, but who really needs to step up, at least in the linebacker wise, if, with Devin out in the line, out of the lineup? Yeah, well, Devin, you know, um, he's a really good player for us. He's real consistent. And, you know, he works real hard. And, you know, um, he had to, to contribute. And, you know, he say he was playing really well. Mm-hmm. You know, physically, he's a good player. So, that's, uh, those games, it's big. You know, that just takes away from the depth, obviously. You know, he's a, a starter like that. So, I think, um, like I said, when somebody goes down, now, he needs to step up. And, um, I think uh, C.O.C. He's, uh, he's kind of his number's been called in a sense, so I think he's doing a good job of mm-hmm. you know, getting in the film room, kind of getting the playbook, even more, getting it down, getting a lot more comfortable with it, so he can go out there and that's uh, because he's, he's such a good natural football player already. He's very mm-hmm. distinctive, so now it's just getting um, the mental part of it down. Right. What about uh, you know facing this Cal Poly team? I know they run a lot of the triple option. You see that against Air Force now. It's still unique to prepare for, but because you prepared for it once a year or last year against Air Force, is that is it an advantage or does it help a lot of you guys? I know there's some different coaches now, but does that kind of help that you, at least you've prepared for this before? It's not like something you've never seen before. Is that is that good, bad, or is it or kind of indifferent? I don't think it's really good for us. You know, we got a lot of guys that have played triple option team multiple times and you guys have only played it once and last week was the first time but that one time to have that game under your belt is still a big advantage because it's playing a triple option team is such a different experience you know it's kind of like playing football like you've never played before it's, it's so much different um, tempo is different blocks are different schemes are different assignments are different so seeing that once having that game experience is, is helpful um, at the same time it's not something we see 
lot. So you never, even that one, two times a year, you're not comfortable seeing it again. You're never comfortable playing for Washington. Sure. It's certainly getting two games. Is it? It's certainly not panic time for this team or this defense, is it, right now, Corey, in your mind? No. Um, like I said, we're, we're still confident in our ability. You know, putting Saturday behind us. We're going to get turned around.